Factsverse presents There's a boy in Russia who says he's from Mars. Here's why we should listen to him. Before we get into our video, jump down to the comments and let us know, do you believe in extraterrestrials from other planets? Also, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. People are fascinated with the idea that life could be living on other planets and have been for all of recorded history. Space is so vast that it seems almost impossible that Earth is the only planet that's inhabited with intelligent life. While our fascination with life on other planets has been going on, well, since the beginning of time, it's in the last couple of decades that we've learned a lot about other planets. There's a boy in Russia who believes in life on other planets. In fact, he claims he's living proof of it. Most people have dismissed his claims as just a child's wild story. But there are some in the science community who aren't all that quick to dismiss him. Boris Kiryanovich was a unique child ever since the day he was born. Most babies can't hold up their own heads until they're between two and four months old. Boris was able to hold his head up when he was just two weeks old. When his parents saw that, they knew right away Boris was special. That might seem like something small, but that was just the beginning of remarkable talents that Boris continued to show as he got older. Boris was born in 1996. He showed how intelligent he was very early on. After holding his own head up after just two weeks old, Boris started speaking very shortly after that. When he was 18 months old, he was able to read and draw. Because of his remarkable intelligence, Boris was able to start kindergarten when he was only two years old. His teachers were amazed by his advanced skills and how quickly he was learning. Even though Boris was only two, he was placed well ahead of his classmates. In kindergarten, Boris wasn't taught about space or physics, but he still had plenty of knowledge about it. He had an in-depth understanding of the universe and he knew all about the stars, planets, constellations, and more. Experts in education believe Boris was a child genius due to his extraordinary knowledge of the universe. Being a child prodigy is incredible, but what was more incredible was the claim he made when he was seven years old. His claim stunned his parents, and soon it had the scientific community listening. When Boris was seven, he went on a camping trip with his parents and some family friends. While on the trip, something incredible happened. They were all sitting around the campfire talking, and Boris asked to have everybody's attention. He was dressed like a child, wearing a t-shirt and a baseball hat, and then shocked everybody with what he said. He told everyone to keep their mouths closed and their ears open. Boris told everyone that he had a remarkable story to tell. At first, adults being adults, they ignored Boris's request. After insisting on having everybody's attention, though, they finally gave in to appease the boy. Everybody thought he would tell a childlike campfire story or maybe a stupid joke, but they were wrong. Boris told the group he had come from Mars and he was sent to Earth to save the world. Boris told the group he lived on Mars in a previous life. He claimed to have been reborn on Earth, making him just as human as everyone else on the planet. He also said he wasn't the only one like him on Earth. Boris told everyone that he and the others who were reborn on Earth call themselves the Indigo Children. While Boris's claim sounds crazy, many people have come to believe that he was telling the truth. Boris had extensive knowledge of what lies beyond Earth. The fact that he was so familiar with the universe, with no formal training in the subject, it led several people to believe him. When Boris was a teenager, he didn't give up on his story. He continued to tell the same story he told during the camping trip. None of the details ever changed. He even went on Russian television for an interview where he told his fascinating story. Now that he was older and more articulate, he was giving more details. According to Boris, people on Mars stop aging when they reach 35. He says people stop at such a young age because they breathe in carbon dioxide rather than oxygen the way the humans do. Boris says the people of Mars are very tall and their technology is very advanced. The technology allows them to travel through interstellar portals. Boris said that he could remember his life on Mars when he was 14 or 15 years old. He was an adolescent at the time, and during that time, the Martians were waging war on each other. Boris said he took part in air raids, and he remembered the friends who fought alongside him. While on Mars, Boris claims that he and his kind could travel through time and fly in space in disc-shaped spaceships. He also said that the people of Mars 
would observe the people from Earth as they thrived on the planet from triangular aircrafts that were used for shorter trips through the galaxy. Morris claims the Martians were remarkably advanced, but it's what led to their demise as well. The nuclear technology of the Martians allowed them to travel through the universe and through time, but it was also this technology that led them to eradicate their own race in a nuclear conflict. According to Boris, it was nuclear warfare that led to the destruction of their civilization. He said he was telling the story now as a warning to the adults of Earth. Boris says that the Martians who managed to survive the post-nuclear fallout were concerned by what they were witnessing on Earth. Boris says the developments in nuclear technology on Earth were very similar to Mars before its downfall. That's why the survivors of Mars needed to warn the Earthlings who didn't understand how dangerous they were allowing things to become. They wanted to warn the people of Earth before it was too late. Boris says that he and the other survivors saw that Earth had become a planet with leaders who were hungry for power and dictators who were just looking for a reason to pull the trigger. Boris said that seeing this made him believe Earth was on the same dangerous trajectory that the people on his own planet were. Fortunately, according to Boris, there's still time for the people of Earth to make changes to save ourselves. According to Boris, if we want to evade the dark nuclear future that looms over humanity, we need to open up the Great Sphinx of Giza. The name of the Sphinx translates to the Father of Dread, or the Terrifying One. Boris says that if humans can find a way to open up the Sphinx, we can unleash its secrets. This wasn't all that Boris said about the Sphinx. He also claims to know about its opening mechanism, which is located behind the ear. He knows that the monument can be opened from there, but Boris admits that he isn't entirely sure how to get it open. According to Boris, the Sphinx is not the only structure to hold incredible secrets. He claims the pyramids of Giza also contain secrets that go far beyond our wildest dreams. Could there be ancient knowledge or alien technology in the Sphinx and the pyramids? Many people think Boris just came up with the ideas of the pyramids and the Sphinx because he read too much science fiction. In 2017, over a decade after Boris first told his family the outrageous tale by the campfire, experts began digging around the Great Pyramid of Giza using specialized technology in a way that they'd never been able to before. The experts were shocked to discover there was some credibility to Boris's story that there was something important hidden inside the structure. The scientists who were searching the Great Pyramid of Giza used cosmic rays and found that there was a 100-foot void in the heart of the pyramid. It's a snake-like void, and it's located just before the Grand Gallery in the middle of the pyramid. Nobody knows for sure what, if anything, is in the void. One thing the experts are sure of is that the people of the ancient civilization didn't build things for no reason. The question on every scientist's mind is, how can we uncover the secrets within the pyramids? Scientists have nothing but theories and ideas of the secrets that lie there. Some experts believe that within the pyramids is a spaceship like the ones that Boris described. The ship is from Mars, and it's capable of interstellar travel in the universe. If this were true, we would have been able to learn everything we wanted to know about what's in our outer space and even in our history and our future. Some people believe that Boris's stories are just stories, childish fantasies. Others believe he's telling the truth. Based on his vast intelligence from a very young age and his incredible knowledge of the universe, could he be telling the truth? Let us know what you think in the comments below and subscribe for more.